Hey everybody. Well, now that the cabana's all open uh, for the season, I thought maybe some of you would like to see a video, or just a short one, on this uh, Lynx grill that I've shown before in my uh, previous videos. Um, so, uh, it's a Lynx grill, and um, it's natural gas. The uh, has a nice little temperature. And uh, let's see, so down here you have, um, there's, uh, there's your, your rotisserie burner knob, and then your left, middle, and right burner knobs. Down here is like a little catch pan, I guess, for grease and stuff like that. And it is kind of interesting how they have uh, these put on the tray. Who knows how long those will last. I guess we'll find out. Maybe I can always take a picture of them or something. And um, here's something pretty interesting. This cover is actually spring-assisted. You can see right there, there's a spring right there, and a spring right there. And I guess it's just to help lift it up or whatever, you know. That's kind of interesting, I guess. And it has very interesting style burners here. Let me lift up one of the grates so you can see it. So basically, every burner section is three. So there's a total of nine. So like the left knob controls these three, the middle knob can controls these three, and needless to say, the right knob controls these three burners right here. And the rotisserie burner, it has an upper rack, and the rotisserie burner is right back there. Now, you know, um, one of the weird things about this grill is that these burners light by a hot service igniter. Now, some of you may think that's kind of cool, but my issue with that is, you know, how long are, these, are those igniters going to last? Because, I mean, hot service igniters are fragile enough as it is. So are they going to be able to handle all the grease that drops down and everything like that? I mean, granted, the igniter's right there. See the thing with the holes? Right there. Granted, most of the stuff you put is, like, back here and stuff like that, but, you know, I don't know. I'm a little skeptical about that because uh, what I can show you is, let me push in one of the knobs. You can see it turn on. Yeah, see it right there? So, you know, like the, 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 that's my only concern is, like, when you push down, when you're cooking and stuff could possibly hit the igniter, is it going to last? So that's my con that's my main concern about it because, you know, the, the, usual, the usual spark buttons you have, I haven't really heard of those failing before, so, you know, time's going to tell with that. So, um, the, so basically the way it works is, um, like I said, when you push in the button, the, um, the igniter lights up. Oh, wrong one. Here we go. See? And then obviously when you turn on the gas... Um, that igniter will light the burner up. As a matter of fact, I guess I'll go ahead and, um, actually no, before I light the burners, there's something else I want to show you guys. Some of you may remember there was this little light button right here, okay? When I do that, you know, it turns on these lights here for the buttons, or rather for the knobs, and for the knobs on the stove part as well. But take a look under the grill. There's also two halogen lights in there, you see that? Alright, so, yeah, that's kind of cool, but, you know, Aren't those going to get greased over because of all the stuff in there? I mean, maybe it's easy to clean off. Maybe it burns off by itself. I mean, granted, ovens do have lights in them and everything, but, you know, it just cool features, but the, the kind of environment that it's in, questionable. You know, it really is. So time's going to tell how those go. So let me go ahead and, <clears throat> and light one of the burners for you. Don't know if you're going to see much on camera, but I guess we'll find out. So what I'll do is I'll just um, push in the, the knob and turn it to light. There it goes, and let go of the knob, and then the igniter, igniter turns off. So right now the uh, the right side burner is going, and really isn't much to see because I'm sure the flame the flame is pretty like blue and such. But um, you may notice that this one's not on, so I can safely lift this one up. See those little, see that these little, those little mesh cages around the burners, okay? Maybe kind of hard to see in video, but oh no, you can see it right back there. Okay, that cage is currently glowing. Now, that looks cool, but my question is, is that cage just going to break off after only a few uses? I'm sure the burners will run just fine without them, but still, it just seems kind of weird. And I think these white surfaces will, like, you know, burn any grease that touches it. I have seen surfaces like this before. And they're pretty good with that, but, you know, I don't know, so... Let me see if I can um, turn on the other uh, burners, too. Turn on this one. OK. 
Okay, that one's on. And there's also the uh, the left hand one. <clears throat> so one thing <clears throat> one thing that is kind of nice with this grill, I will say, is that it's making a lot of noise, like gas noise, as it's running. That's something the Long Island House Cabana uh, didn't have that grill. So that is kind of nice in that regard. Let me close this lid and see what the uh, see if the um, gauge will start rising up. Oh yeah, it is. You, you can see it going up. You can see all, all the uh, maybe in the video. You can see all the heat coming off the back. Yep, there it goes. Let me just lift the lid up. Yeah, you can see the things are glowing in there. So again, that is just my concern. Like, you know, um, well, one is the igniters. And granted, there is a hole on the front of the rack, which I guess you can use to use a... Oh, they moved them. Okay. Oh, no, here they are. You can use a striker to um, light it. But you're going to have to revert to that pretty fast. I hope not. Yep, there it goes. And look inside. Yeah, that's pretty much how it's going to look when it's operating. So I will say the um, yeah I open the lid they, they they glow a little bit less obviously heat does feel pretty evenly distributed so that's good yeah see here's the hole in there for where you could use that so the burners themselves do seem to operate very well but again I'm just a little skeptical about you know those hot service igniters and just that way of igniting these you know maybe they'll be okay I don't know this grill is still brand new so we haven't really had had a good run of it yet but I guess we'll find out um, yeah I got to space the uh, racks a little bit better you can see. So again, overall, like, not bad, but just, I hope down the road it's going to be okay, you know? Especially with modern appliances. We can go ahead and turn these off now. Yeah, here's all the uh, sounds it makes. And of course, one of the reasons why I wanted to get a video of this for you guys is because, you know, when a grill is brand new like this, once you start using it, that's it. Never going to look like this again. So I figured I'd give a video of it for you just as um, just as it's all nice and new and hasn't really been, been used yet. And the springs are easy enough to work on. You can just unhook there and unhook there if one of them ever breaks. But hopefully those will last a while, you know. There is a rotisserie. Uh, is this hot? Uh, no, it's not. Um, there is a rotisserie fitting for you here, you can see. It, you can either put it on here or down here, whichever you prefer. And there's like little rollers on it, which is pretty interesting. Um, I don't know where the motor is for that right now. My parents put it somewhere. I'm not quite sure where it is, but it doesn't really matter right now. I just wanted to show you the main functions of the grill. So there it is, guys. Um, like, a, there's your Lynx natural gas grill. Looks pretty good in terms of as it's running, but igniting and everything, it does work. But I just hope those igniters will last a while. We'll see what happens. Finally got a video back for you guys. Thought maybe you'd like to see that. And we shall see how it goes with this grill down the road. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.